dogs are pretty scary, but they um, they can be friendly if they're trained in a certain way. But just any wild snakes are really scary, and they scare me because they can poison you and kill you. I hate snakes. I think they're dirty and mean. They bite you. And they're just evil. I hate them. I like snakes because they give us something to study. There's all different types. What kind of an animal would I have in a bag, do you think? A snake. You think so? Let's see if you're right. You know one of the reasons that people think that snakes are so bad? Because they're always staring at you, and they always have their tongues sticking out. It looks like they're just being really rude. And they also don't have eyelids. They can't close their eyes, and that's why it looks like they're always staring at you. Usually what most snakes have is something called cryptic coloring, which means that they blend into their environment. Most snakes that are brown and have the brown and tan stripes will blend right in with dirt and rocks, and you'll probably walk by them and you don't even know that they're there. Mice are actually one of a snake's favorite foods, and especially a snake this size would like a mouse to eat. And what they do, the way snakes eat, is they eat animals whole. Asmodeus. I think Osmodeus says, says his name kind of in a devilish tone, very quiet, but yet kind of creepy, kind of like an Osmodeus kind of thing, where it's kind of freaky, but you're still like, oh, okay. <laughs> when I say Clooney is bad, you notice I didn't say Clooney is evil. He can be evil, mainly he's bad, but if you look in Redwall, as a story for pure evil then look no further than Asmodeus. Asmodeus. Asmodeus is the adder, the giant snake, the cold embodiment of evil. And Asmodeus doesn't worry where he gets his prey from. It could be from the goodies or from the baddies. He doesn't care if he sees something that he wants. Like a little tiny dog with a red jacket. Asmodeus would eat him instantly. That is pure evil. I will show you eternity. If I had to fight Asmodeus, I would probably wear a blindfold because then he wouldn't be able to hypnotize me. Who or what inspired you to write this book? Nothing inspired me. I've always been a writer. I always loved to write. I could always express myself in writing, and I could always tell a good story. I was the best liar in our streets when I was a kid. Yeah? <laughs> and uh, I loved to read, and I found that I could write. Now, lots of people can be a writer. It's the same as like great musician. Now, I would never be a great musician. I could become a musician, and I could become a pretty good musician, but I'd never be a great one. 